Hey everyone, um, I'm Razib Khan, the Director of Scientific Content here at Insightum, and I just got my Neanderthal Insight results. I can't wait to walk through them with you guys. Alright, so it says here that I'm 1.2% Neanderthal, and that sounds about right. Most people are going to be in the 1-2% to range, so I'm in the lower end of the spectrum. So it basically means a small proportion of my genome comes down from our Neanderthal ancestors. Okay, the real question though, what specifically about me is Neanderthal? And that is where our Neanderthal Insight app really shines. We report on 10 different traits, and it turns out for pigmentation, learning, and muscle growth, I am a Neanderthal. All right, on the other hand, it turns out I have the modern human versions for sun damage repair, torso shape, as you can see, fat storage, high altitude adaptation, maybe unfortunately, interpreting immune signals, pathogen recognition, and viral immune response. Well, that's a lot. Let's talk about what it means to be modern human versus Neanderthal. Modern humans are those humans that left Africa 50,000 to 100,000 years ago. Neanderthals are descended from a population that left 600,000 years ago. And evolved in Eurasia. 50,000 years ago, our modern human African ancestors met our Neanderthal African ancestors. Turns out different populations have different percentage of Neanderthal because of the differences between these meetings. In the future, as more science comes out, we will be updating our Neanderthal insight with more features. But back to my Neanderthal variants. Let's start with learning. That doesn't seem like something I would want the Neanderthal variant for, but let's see what this means. So Neanderthals have specific genetic variants for visual learning, memory, and cognition. Some of these are pretty common in modern populations. So next time someone calls you a Neanderthal, you should take it as a compliment. Ooga booga! Okay, but muscle growth though. That's probably good, right? So that means I have my Neanderthal ancestors to thank for my weightlifting abilities. My last Neanderthal variant is pigmentation. Now, Neanderthals probably came in all different colors, whether they be red hair or dark skin. So I'm not surprised I have a Neanderthal variant. And many people outside of Africa have Neanderthal pigmentation variants, and I don't have any recent African ancestry, so that makes sense to me. Wow, so this is all really coming together. And I still have my exciting Neanderthal story to read. So while I'm doing that, why don't you get yourself to Neanderthal Insight now?